All right, I got this crappy laptop from an e-waste. This thing here is a crappy hard drive that was inside of here. Um, I put Pop! OS, Linux Pop! OS on this. So this laptop didn't have um, like the battery pack here. My theory is if we install Pop! OS because it's been completely locked out. Like this here tells me it like belonged to a company or some crap like that, I have no idea. But I can't access anything in a BIOS. I can't stick a USB in there. Don't know what the password is. Possibly you could solder a paper clip to the motherboard to bypass. There might be another way to somehow like, I don't know what the right word is, like um, drain the power and the battery and the motherboard, something like that, so that it forgets the, resets the password, but whatever, they've locked it out. My theory is that if I put Pop! OS on this hard drive, plug it back in there, install Pop! OS directly from the hard drive, it might work. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, we knew the battery was dead. How do we fix that? Escape to continue. Let's see if it just boots into Pop! OS. I have a pretty good theory because it has a CD, sorry, CD drive right there. I don't know, I'm pretty, um, maybe I should have looked at like what the hard drive looked like so I could, um, do you know what I mean? So I could wipe the, like how the hard drive looked because it might install the system, but then keep thinking it's a boot drive. I could have booted it up back on my other computer and looked at the hard drive and seen what it looked like. But let's just see what happens here. I'm, I'm actually intrigued now because it's kind of funny because they can like lock you out at the BIOS level, but it actually might be like pretty easy to get around it. So let's just see how that goes. Okay. so. Let's explain this really quick. So this computer is locked out on the bias level. So I can't access the CD drive. Couldn't put a USB in there. The uh, This is the original hard drive, by the way. It had Windows on there. I am not a big fan of Windows for many reasons. We'll get into that into the future videos. I'm more of a Linux guy. But all I did was put Pop! OS as an installer on the hard drive. Like I put it into an external. Then I put it, plugged it back into here, and here we are ready to install Pop! OS on the new computer. So let's see how this goes. So I hit a roadblock. I have no drive to select because I put the, made the whole hard drive like the boot drive. So what would happen if I split the drive? So what that would involve is I'd have to take it out again, put it back in the external, split the drive in some sort of disk manager in Linux so that it, when it goes into the computer, it thinks it's two drives. Let's give that a try. Here I just hit a bunch of roadblocks. This hard drive has Pop! OS installed on it. Let's plug it into this laptop and see what the heck happens. And bam, there's Pop! OS like perfectly working. There's uh, LibreWolf running the internet. And if I want to, uh, what's it called? Go into the pop shop. I can go back like this. Like for example, say we wanted to run some emulators on this. We could go retro arch and yeah, we could install retro arch and I could turn this into an emulation machine just like that. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. I actually found this kind of interesting. Maybe at max took me like an hour to to come up with this it was just pretty funny i just like what if i just take a hard drive with the operating system installed instead of jumping through all these hoops and sure enough hard drive in here it is it totally works have a good day